Hello everyone, hello peeps, welcome back to another video on the Minecraft channel. Today we're going to be going through another harder problem on the GCSE NXL Maths Paper 2 that was today for hire. Like I said in the other video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out in a bit. I found this paper a little bit easier than the Paper 1, but it had some weird questions in it. Well, I mean, it always does, but anyway, let's get into this one. This is a really nice problem and it's kind of mixing a bit of probability and some other stuff so there are only red yellow and green counters in a bag there are four red counters three yellow counters and one green counter i can't remember who who took it i can't remember the name so i use my own name ben takes three counters from the bag at random find the probability that there are now more yellow counters than red counters so let's just look at this final statement here if there are more red so if there are more yellow counters than red counters um, that means that we have to have taken red counters. We can't take yellow counters. So, let's look at the number of counters we have first of all. So, we have four red, we have three yellow, and one green. And for red to be less than yellow, we have to take at least two reds. So, then this becomes, this becomes two, and this has to remain at three. So, then yellow is greater than red. So let's quickly write that down. For there to be less than, for the, sorry, for there to be less red than yellow, at least two red have to be taken. Right? And And yellow has to be unchanged. Well, it says three counters, so we know that we have to take at least two red counters, but where else can we take a counter? We can't take it from yellow, because then red is not going to be less than yellow. So it has to be green, right? So we have three, or four, sorry, we have four possibilities. Either we can take red, then red, and then green. We can then take red, green, red. We can do green, then a red, then a red. Or what we can do it is at least red, two red, sorry. So we can do red, red, then red, then red. Because we can have more than two red counters taken. So let's look at this. Now this question, I started the exam drawing a tree diagram, which was a terrible idea because we've got three possibilities at each stage and there's three stages so that's going to be a lot of lines drawing so i i would recommend you do something like this kind of deal so let's look at our case one i'm just going to write case one and these are going to be the different ones so case one the probability of a red counter be being taken how many total counters do we have? If we sum all of these, we're going to get 8 total, right? And if we take red on our first try, it's going to be 4 out of 8, right? And then we're going to take another red one, but the total has decreased. The denominator is going to be 7, and the red counters have also decreased because we've just taken one, so that's going to be 3 out of 7. And the total, once again, has decreased, and that's going to be 6. And we're going to take a green counter, which hasn't changed, so we still have 1. And that is going to equal 12 over 336. Case 2. We're going to take a red counter, which is 4 eighths. And we're going to take a green counter. Our total is 7, and our number of green counters is 1. We haven't taken any yet. And then one more red counter. We know that we've already taken 1, so the total red counters left is 3. And we've taken two counters from the total is so going to be six and that's also going to be equal to 12 of 336. Now case three is going to be exactly the same thing we're still just multiplying these together although the denominators and numerators have sort of shuffled around a bit we're going to get the same result but I'm going to go through it anyway. If we take a green counter at the beginning it's going to be one eighth because we have eight total and we have one green counter if you can see up there in the top left hand corner and then we're going to take a red counter, so we have four red counters still, and we've got seven total counters now. 
it's reduced by one again because we've just taken one so six total and the ram the red counters have also decreased by one which was taken once so it's going to be three over six and that's going to be 12 over 336 so these are all the same but then case four is where it starts getting a little bit different right so we take three red counters so the first red counter we take is going to be four out of eight we decrease the total by one so we get seven we also decrease the number of red counters by one so we get three out of seven then we take another red counter so our total is six because we've taken two already and our total red counters is going to be two because we've already taken two red counters and if we multiply this together we are going to get 24 over 336 right so these are our four cases our four possibilities and to work out what the combined probability is we have to sum them because we can have this case number one or case two or case three or case four so if we're doing or like that then we have to sum them so if I do 12 over 336 plus 12 over 336 plus 12 over 336 like that plus 24 over 336 those are all our possibilities we are adding them because they are independent I think is the word they don't affect each other they are just different things that can happen one of them can happen but all of them can't happen at the same time and if we sum that all together we are going to get 60 over 336 which is also if we simplify it down we are just going to get 5 we divide by 12 over 28 and that is our final answer if it wants to let me draw a box around it 5 over 28 and that is the probability that there are more yellow counters than red counters so let me know in the comments how well you did in this question if you enjoyed the paper if you found it difficult just yeah whatever um make sure to like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see all the random stuff on this channel maths minecraft trains whatever share comment all the good stuff that youtube people like to say and i will see you in the next video or a previous video thank you for watching we'll see you next time good Bye.